Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about solving quadratic equations by factoring. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here 35k squared minus 22k plus 7 equals 4, and we want to solve this by factoring. Hmm. Well, let's get k by um, an equation equal to 0. So let's subtract a 4 to both sides. We're left with 0 here. The 35k squared comes down, minus 22k, and the 7 minus 4 is, well, good old 3. Hmm. Well, this, right off the bat, doesn't look like something I can easily factor. So I'm going to use grouping here. So I'm going to take 35, multiply it by 3, and that gets me 105. Well, I'm not going to go through all the factors of 105. Well, maybe I will. But I'm going to just basically kind of, when I go about this, I don't, especially if we have large numbers, I don't just try to list every single possible factor. I go through ones that I quickly can find and see, well, which ones add to be a negative 22. And that's the goal here. And actually, speaking of that, negative 22, if the two numbers multiply to be 105 but add to be negative 2, a negative 22, we, both of our numbers have to be negative. All right, so we have positive 105, negative 22, both will be negative. So negative 1 times a negative 105 clearly meets positive 105, but not even close to be adding. Negative 5, I just kind of did this, negative 21. Negative 5 times negative 21 is 105, but close, but doesn't equal a negative 22. Negative 7 times a negative 15, I was kind of going through possible numbers, is my golden ticket. Negative 7 times a negative 15 multiplies to be a positive 105, but adds to be negative 22. So now we're going to rewrite this, bring down the 35k squared, and we're going to break this apart. Negative 22k is, well, negative 7k plus a negative 15k. So these two together combine to be that negative 22k, bring down the plus 3, and that equals 0. And now we're starting our journey by factoring by grouping. Let's pull out a common factor here. 7k goes into both parts here. And we're left with, well, 5k, oops, 5k, let's erase that here, 5k minus 1. Do the same thing with the second part. Negative 3 we can pull out, and we're left with, again, 5k, did it again, 5k, but this case, uh, minus 1 again. Notice we have 5k minus 1 and 5k minus 1. If we pull that out, we have a 5k minus 1 here from both parts. It's being multiplied, the 7k comes down, and the minus 3 comes down as well. Now we have two parts being multiplied in factored form, and then are set equal to 0. So we can set each part individually equal to 0. So we do the first part here, 5k minus 1 equals 0, and a 7k minus 3 equal to 0. And we're going to solve for k on both of them. Don't forget the zero. We add a one here to both sides, and 5k equals a positive one. Divide both sides by five, and k is by itself, but it's equal to one fifth. Let's do the same thing here. We add a three, if I can write a three to both sides. 7k equals a positive three. Divide both sides by seven, and k equals a three sevenths. And so our two solutions here, can be combined to be in one statement, k is equal to one-fifth and three-sevenths, and that is our final answer. hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math, Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math, MinuteMathTutor.com.